Her most notable accomplishments are her being the first female actress to portray several of Shakespeare's woman characters on the professional stage. She was the first to portray Juliet in Romeo and Juliet, Lady Macbeth in Macbeth, and other female roles in The Tempest, Hamlet, as Ophelia, Measure for Measure, Much Ado About Nothing, Twelfth Night, King Lear. In Shakespeare's day, female roles were played by teenage boys as women and young girls were not allowed on the stage. By the 1660s, however, the laws in England had changed, allowing females to act professionally. Mary's connections through her husband, Thomas, who was also a famous actor, allowed her to play several significant roles. She married her husband in 1662 and they took the young actress and brace girdle into their home. Saunderson had a reputation for virtue, Kali Sibber described her as leading an unblemished dee and sober life. One of her earliest roles was in the Siege of Rhodes, taking over the role of Iante in place of a MRS. Acting under the direction of William Davenant, Mary did very well, even to the point that she was frequently called Iante for the rest of her life. She sang in several of Afra Ben's operas, and after Davenant died in 1668, her husband Thomas became CEO manager of the company, and she continued to act in minor roles into the 1690s. Her final appearance was in John Dryden's last play, Love Triumphant, where she played the leading female role.